Okay, let's see who do we have here. Evelyn, I guess, is here. John, as a listener. Katia, good evening. I don't know if you're there. Good evening, teacher. Okay, hello, Katia, everything okay? So, so. <laughs> okay, so, so. We have also Rosalie as a listener. Just give me a second. Sorry, un segundo. Okay, my friends, we're going to start with this class. Welcome to the class number 11. That's part of the unit number three. Okay, good evening, teacher. Unit number three, it's about 
expressions for describing issues. So um, this is the third week. It means that after this class, we're going to have like, uh, what, nine classes left, nueve classes más y estamos ya libre. So expressions for describing issues. So welcome everybody. Um, here we have Andre Pardo, John as listener, Katia. Uh, Rosalia as listener, Susie, David. Present teacher. Thank you, th thank you, thank you, Debbie, for for being active. Okay, I know. Let's uh, well, David is here. Let's see if we have some other participants. Maybe Katya. Yes, right, Katya. You told me that you are online. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Maybe. Okay, Andre, are you there? Andre Pardo? Yeah, I'm here. Person. Mm, thank you. Thank you very much, Andre. And, well, we have some listeners by the moment, but maybe we can have also Eduardo. Yes, Present right? Teacher. Thank you very much, my friend. Okay. Okay, and also here we have Christy, okay. So, the topic is um, expressions for describing issues. Okay, practically in every company we have some difficulties, problems, limitations. In this class, we're going to talk about different issues. Issues is similar like problems like difficult situations and that's normal in every company we have issues we have problems we have situations which are difficult so we're going to talk about them to start i have a question before i check the tenants list because i'm going to look at it but okay mention some common problems in your company okay I like you to write two, two common problems in your company that could be related to employees, to supervisors, to managers. Could it be? Extra hours not pay. That could be a problem. That could be uh, no resources. Si no hay recursos. And that's another uh, topic that is kind of I know what, come on. References. Okay. Uh, Lack of communication. Oh, that's another one. Lack of communication. Okay. Okay. Um, these are some examples. Please, I need you to write two of them. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be waiting for your answers. And here I have some examples, but of course, you know the reality of your company. I'm going to be waiting and we're going to start. Please mention some of common problems in your company.
Okay, I'm going to be waiting for the rest of your answers because um, just Eduardo has answered. I need your opinions. For example, Katia, Andre, David, Daniel, Gustavo, John, if possible. Rosalie. If possible, if possible, okay. Hello, Andre. No entendí, o sea, ¿debemos de mencionar algunas otras? Eh, sí. Eh, okay. Como siempre eh, comento, ¿verdad? Es una actividad inicial. Menciona algunos problemas comunes de tu compañía. Aquí uh -huh. puse unos ejemplos, pero ustedes ya saben. You know your problems. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to be waiting. Les estaré esperando por sus opiniones. Ok. Okay, let's listen to some of you. Um, Eduardo, could you say or you mention some common uh, difficulties or problems in your company? Yes, teacher. In my case, and in my company, there are uh, inventory breaks and okay. chairs to customers. Okay, uh, what do you mean about inventory breaks? Inventory breaks is the mean when we don't have uh, any product. Okay. What is uh, of the line well, um, of mm -hmm. to the client, okay. the customers, mm -hmm. the customers uh, buy frequently. Okay. Mm -hmm. You mean it's lack of products when you need products but you don't have them. When we don't have, okay, you don't have, and the yes. clients and customer they they ask for the product, they need the product. Yes, the okay. they need, or when is, uh, frequently product. Thank you. Very interesting opinion. Thank you. Inventory breaks. Well, that's a big problem, but that's a matter of company, right? Uh, yes. And the other is charges customers. It's a, another payment that customers uh, has to do. We we work, uh, we have with the with the customers uh, the benefit of pay thirty days before they buy. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, interesting. Yeah. Nice opinion. Okay. We're going to wait once. More second, vamos a esperar un segundo más mientras los otros opinan y ya consulto en un momento.
Well, we have uh, Katia, please. And then Damy. I need you to share your opinion about this. Okay, teacher. Um, mm -hmm. Let's start training and the bad organization for headquarters. Okay, headquarters, yeah. That's very common. But what about little staff training? You mean the, the training at the beginning, it is not enough? Like capacitations, workshops, courses, initial courses are not enough at the beginning, at the initial. Um, the, or not? And the process are no, and this, I can't say it in Spanish because I don't know how to say it in English. Okay. Este, tanto en el, en el inicio como en el proceso, el acompañamiento no es el adecuado. Ok, Entonces, the monitoring is not complete. El monitoreo no es completo. El monitoreo no es completo. Uh -huh. The monitoring okay. is complete. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, well, sometimes the company, uh, they consider that at the beginning, if they explain something that is going to be okay, the rest of the process. But through the rest of the process, employees, coordination, and well, the rest of the company, they need like supervision monitoring is like Katia is referring to el, a lo que se refiere, el monitoreo, el acompañamiento, right? No, just at the beginning, no, solo es el inicio, es todo. Thank you, Katia. What about David? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Uh, okay. Uh, a problem in my company is that there are many employees and the space is getting smaller. Okay. Uh, Gore is, Gore is on their way to Spain, Spain, the office. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Limited spaces. If the company is hiring, contratando, hiring more people, it means that they, they need more space, right? Yeah, yeah, and if you have limited spaces, the work is not going to be 100% good. Thank you, David. Yeah, I have that, that, that situation in one of my jobs. Okay, Andre says, lack of communications, of communication, right, Andre? Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah, of course, problem with communication. And what about the other? Some person, some people are, Okay. Okay. Some some people. Okay. Some people are liars. Uh, uh, you mean with the results? Te refieres al resultado, or you mean with some process, or yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. The the people uh, are lying in the result. No. In the, the result. result. Yeah. Result. In the result. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Maybe there are some levels which you have to reach algunos niveles que debes de alcanzar yeah and i know when you feel the pressure cuando se siente como una presión people are sometimes lying about the results a veces eh, mienten sobre los resultados right so yeah i can imagine thank you very much andre okay. mm -hmm. gustavo please and then oh, daniel okay. Okay, teacher, there is no coordination. Okay. Some records are needed for, for example, ve vehicles. Mm -hmm. And maybe they are not available, no están disponibles, sometimes. Uh, yes, uh, uh, in my area, we mm -hmm. only have one car, and okay. sometimes we, we need to get away with guard. Okay, uh -huh. yeah, and that's the problem because we have roads, la rutas, or the way. You have to cover some uh, places, but the vehicles or the cars are not enough. And that happened to me in one, war, in one job that I had. You needed more vehicles or cars, but they were not available, no estaban disponibles. So, yes. yeah. Uh, you can't complete the task, no puedes completar la tarea if you don't have the sources, si no tienen los recursos. Thank you, Gustavo. Yes. What about Daniel? 
Mm, you have some other opinion about this? And then Marita? Uh, I teacher. Hello. And this case, uh, if I if I work 30 minutes extra hours, they don't pay me. Okay. So, yeah. Maybe because of the project or your job requires more of your time, but they don't pay you. It's like, I don't know if that is in your case, but I was working in a project in that project required more of my time, requería más de mi tiempo. I work extra hours, but those hours were not paid. Esas horas extras no fueron pagadas. So I consider that that's your case, right? Yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I know, definitely. It is not that good. Maybe you can complete the task, but the employee, el trabajador no está como motivado. So the results are not going to be 100% good. Maritza. Okay, Maritza, do you have some uh, common problems in your company? Yeah. There is no internal controls and there is no staff training. Okay, no internal control. No staff training. That's usually common. Even some people consider that, or some supervisors, managers, they consider that the training uh, must be just at the beginning. But the training is constantly. Debe ser constante. Yeah, every time. Especially when you're going to work with some specific product, uh, some specific project, and so on. Okay. Well, my friends, here we have useful phrases that they are like idiomatic expressions, uh, phrases idiomaticas. Number one, I'm kind of tired. Two, don't worry. Three, I lost my wallet. Four, I made a mistake. Uh, I suggest you to write this. Sugiero que escriban esto. That's very important to, to recognize this. I made a mistake. Uh, five, you are not alone. Similar to a song from Michael Jackson. Make an effort. Seven, I will not give up. Eight, make an agreement. Nine, what's your weakness? Ten, what's your strength? Okay, I'm going to call you one by one to check the attendance list. Okay, I'm going to call and remember to say hi, hello, good evening. And after that, please uh, say one of these phrases. Don't Andre worry. is not here. I'm uh, sorry, Adi not here. Ana Cristina. Luisa, are you there? Okay, maybe not. Uh, Andre, yes, right, Andre? Yes, for sure. Thank you. Read the sentence? Yeah, please, one. Okay. Uh, I'm keen that tire. Thank you. Uh, Rivas? Are you there, Rivas? Sí, chef. Perdón, me levanté. Okay, Luisa, hello. Please, uh, okay. say what? El herbe. Okay. Uh, number two. Please. 
Don't worry. Thank you. Uh, we continue, Rivas. Uh, Daniel. Present teacher. Uh, nada más informarle que no me encuentro en casa. Me voy a movilizar. Don't okay, worry. Thank, thank you for telling me. Gracias por comentarme. Okay. Okay, nice. Uh, David. Present teacher. What is your weakness? Thank you. Uh, Evelyn. Okay, maybe not. Guillermo, I guess Guillermo is not here, right? Okay. Let's move. Uh, John, I guess he's listener. Katia. Hi, Katia. Hi, teacher. Um, you are not alone. Thank you. Maritza. Present. I made a mistake. Okay, good. Uh, Gustavo. Hi, teacher. Uh, I lost my wallet. Good one. Uh, Oscar Daniel. I don't know if Oscar Daniel is here. If not, Eduardo. Present. I will not give up. Perfect. Uh, Rosalie is listener. And Susie, I don't know. So, um, let's move with this. Well, we already talked about the first activity that the manual uh, presented. For example, this. What are some common problems at a plant? Make a list. I know that you have some difficulties in your company. No necessarily to be a plant. No necessarily tiene que ser como una planta de trabajo. Okay. It's, I know that uh, every company is like different. Not necessarily the same. Okay. So here we have Ramon and Doria. This is a conversation. It says, thank you for your coming. Uh, thank you for coming, Doria. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right, you know, it does not uh, work properly. And it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take a metal case enough to verify if it is a minor fault of what I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happens if they are, we will uh, have to extend the shot. Maybe he'll have some um, braces. Okay, this properly. It properly, properly, strange. Case enough, minor, full. Speed things up. Okay, that's the point. Properly, strange, casing, minor fault, speed things up. I will need you to have screenshot. A ver, espero que tengan una captura de pantalla. Y vamos a trabajar con la práctica de esta conversación.
Okay, my friends. See you in a moment. Te un momento.
Okay, let's see. What do we have here? I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know why it is failing my PowerPoint presentation. Again. Okay, maybe we have we can have two two teams, maybe the participation of Gustavo. Gustavo, okay. you were practicing with Oscar, right? Okay, teacher. Okay, Oscar, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay please, my friends, go ahead. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Don't worry about one of your machines. I have a look at it. Okay. Uh, Dorian, please. Uh, Dorian, you can go this uh, complex machine so maybe you will need some time yes complex machines have a lot of components i need to take the method case of the very inferior and minor or, or what i understand if that is the case you need a thing you need to receive some help. I recommend check the music once of the night to make sure they they not down. And what happened is they are. We will have to explain the truth. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, and what happens if they are, we will have to extend the shot, el corte. Okay, thank you. Maybe we can have the participation of David. Who was your classmate, David? Uh, Katia. Katia, right. Katia, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. Okay, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone report a fall on one of your machine. I have a look at it. You are right. You know it does it does not work for play, and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you you will need some time. Yes, complex machine have a lot of component. I need to take the metal casing of to bury if it is a middle fall or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed thing up. I recommend check the brushes one uh, for night to make sure that they are not down. And what happened is they are? We we will have to extend the shirt. Thank you. Okay. Uh, maybe we have some vocabulary and uh, this for night. This means quincena. Esta palabra la conocemos bien en español. 
but maybe in English it is not so common, right? Fortnight, it means quincena, like two weeks, okay? So practically, uh, they have some difficulties with some machines, right? And then they give you like, they give some suggestions, some recommendations. Okay, um, here we have two questions. It says, what seems to be the problem with the machine? Number two, what recommendation does Dorian give? Okay, maybe with number one, what's the problem with the machine? Can we have the participation of Eduardo, maybe? Could you identify the problem yes. with the machine? Yes, teacher. Uh, Ramon says it does not work properly and yeah. it makes a strange noise. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Eduardo. It does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. So that is a good evidence that something is not good. We have uh, question number two. What recommendation does Dorian give? Maritza, uh, could you talk about the recommendation that Dorian gives? I recommend check the brushes once uh, for a night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, to make sure, yeah. So to check that part of the machine, uh, for night, uh, every two weeks, cada dos semanas. Thank you. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, we move with this. And this is very interesting. How would you improve the education system in El Salvador? I consider that uh, when you were at school, you had good teachers and you had bad teachers. You had resources or not. Tenían recursos o no. You have good facilities, tenían instalaciones buenas, adecuadas, or not. Uh, the bathrooms, maybe the internet. There are a lot of things that uh, have impact in education in El Salvador. So, how would you improve the education system in El Salvador? ¿Cómo mejorarían la educación, el sistema de educación de El Salvador? Think about it, ya les consulto. So think about how to improve. I know that you have ideas. Sé que tienen ideas. I know. So let's think about it. Ya les consulto. Okay, volunteers, for how would you improve the education system in El Salvador? Uh, we can have different uh, opinions. If uh, you're not ready, maybe we can have some participation. I'm going to choose. Maybe Daniel. Any idea, Daniel? How would you improve? And then we go with uh, David. Okay, um, I think that it, it should have a transport 
Transport system hall education. Okay, you mean transportation, transporte. Yeah. Uh, okay, school. yeah, yeah. School. So every student can go to school with no problem, right? So that's uh, one of the recommendations that Daniel gives. Thank you. Yeah. Transportation for students. Okay, we go with David and then we go with Luisa. Okay, teacher, in my opinion, uh, providing more technological equipment okay. to school and giving training for its use. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, uh, providing equipment, technological equipment, and training right because yes. uh, it is not just the the thing that you give the computer the tablet or i don't know uh, whatever you want to give and no training yeah training it's so necessary thank you david uh, luisa please okay teacher my opinion is advanced technology and um, personalized i think it is Attention for a student more practice and less theory. A little uh, them to a work and environment. Okay, uh, you mentioned different things. First, more practice and less theory. Theory is important, but practice is something that is more important. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. And good environment, of course. I guess safety is one of the best things. La seguridad es super importante. So after that, you can have some other um aspects to improve. Thank you, Luisa. Andre, are you there? Well, if Andre is teacher, not there. Uh, I don't have idea to share, but I'm not studying in El Salvador. Okay. Only, only English. In another country, right? Okay, thank you. Okay. Mm, well, let's listen to Katia. Okay, mm -hmm. Katia, what's your opinion about this? Um, I shall be... I shall start be a training teacher. Uh, the education system is obsolete. Hmm... So it must be improvised. I shall also propose that it that in <laughs> addition to English or language, well, we should I don't know Japanese, Korean, Russian, mm -hmm. or Germany, and and implement more technology career, and uh, robotic and genetic. I don't know. This is my opinion. Yeah, of course. Um, you are talking about complementary education. And that's okay, because if you notice the education in Salvador, it has been similar in the, in the last uh, years. So we need a change, a real change, to teach not just English, but some other languages, to teach uh, about robotics, about technology, something that really can help students. Why not? Thank you. Yeah, that's it, Katia. Daniel, there's some other comment? Yeah, um, I consider uh, English is sure very important class in the education system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I consider, as you mentioned, English so important but it could be taught from the kindergarten if children from the very beginning age when they are really young they can start uh, having contact with english so when you go to seventh grade cuando ya van a septimo grado it is not like strange it is not like from other world it's like oh i have an idea about this yeah i have mm, I know some words about the English. Como que tengan ya una noción, no solo en séptimo grado. If, yeah, as you mentioned, English is so important. 
Okay, we continue later with this topic. Uh, I, we know that the education system should have some different changes. But now, okay. Uh, here we have expression for describing issues. When you say issues, la palabra issue es issues, um, that word is related to problems. Está relacionado como problemas, con, con dificultades. Okay, so look at this. Number one. Here we have this. It says, I'll have a look at it. Le tomaré o le echaré un vistazo. It doesn't work properly. It doesn't work properly. It makes a strange noise. Hace un sonido raro. I need to, necesito que hacer tal cosa. I need to, to speed things up. Necesito apresurar más las cosas. Check the brushes. Once a fortnight. Como que revisa las las escobillas una vez cada 15 días ok have, a, have to extend the shot hay que extender el corte a minor fault que es una falta leve ok, match the expression works with the phrases in the left, ok, think about this I'm going to ask you in a moment ya les pregunto con respecto a eso y lo completamos ok, here we have similar to parentheses, ya les consulto Okay, ideas about this. Match the expressions. Vamos a unir las expresiones con las opciones que tenemos acá. Okay, uh, let's see. Maybe we can have some options for this. Let's ask to Rosalie. Hello, Rosalie. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? The, the number one. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, Letter. what do you have for number one? Number one, small, unimportant problem. Letter E. Yeah. A minor fault. Minor fault. Minor, minor fault, yes. Una falta menor, pequeña. Thank you. Yes, that's correct. Okay, let's listen in this case to uh, Maritza and then Eduard. Okay, Maritza. Number three. Mm -hmm. uh, period of two weekends. Week. Weeks. Mm -hmm. letter, letter B. A fortnight. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Eduardo, and then we go with Daniel. Number two, check it. I think is the number C. Mm -hmm. Have a look at it. Yes, let us see. Have a look at it. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, and then David. Let us see. Made, made us. Shoot up, shoot down, longer. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I have some me equivoquing in esta. Ya, ya, ya veo. Okay, what did you say? Sorry, number four or number five? The number 
Do something posted. La number five. Make the shutdown. Langerita. Lead. Leader. Leader I A. Okay. Yeah. Extend the shot. Yeah. Letter A. Okay, David. Number four. Practically, it is. Letter what? Difficult answer, teacher. Number four. Yeah, I know. Do sometime faster. <laughs> it is B. Speeding up. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, it's un verbo compuesto. Speed up. Cuando decimos speed up es acelerar. Es como aumentar velocidad. So, if speed things up es como apresurar las cosas, ¿verdad? Como acelerar. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Well, we finish this and let's move to the other part. Okay. Getting birds, think of a problem that may occur in the machinery of your workplace. Okay. Um, at the beginning of the class, we were talking about problems in the company. Listen, problems in the company in general, but now here we have machinery, problemas con la maquinaria en su trabajo. Maquinaria, machinery can be office, um, office stuff, cosas de la oficina, industrial stuff, Vehicle stuff, cosas de, relacionadas a los vehículos, a las maquinarias industriales, máquinas grandes, pueden ser máquinas pequeñas. So, I need you to mention one problem that you may have uh, related to any machine, relacionado a cualquier máquina en su trabajo. Mencionen una. And I'm going to be checking your answers here in the chat. Okay? Please. Do it. Un problema que pueden tener con algún tipo de máquina, maquinaria o equipo en su trabajo. Please.
Okay, let's listen to some of your points of view. Um, Daniel, please, could you mention one of the machinery problems that you that you may face? Yeah, um, sometimes the computers are, are very slow because of the internet. Okay, do you consider that the internet is the only problem? Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, but the computers are okay. The problem, the main problem is the internet. Yeah, usually happen. Thank you. Uh, Eduardo. What do yes, you teacher. Think? Yeah, what, what do you think about the, your machinery problems? In my, in my case, the system sometimes is slow. Okay, when you say system, you are talking about the applied Form or a website in your, the in your okay it's yes. specifically for your company right yes so yes we have hello. a platform when we had, we do all the the process maybe that platform needs more maintenance quizá necesita más mantenimiento esta plataforma right so that could be another option yes yes okay. that's right thank you Eduardo okay so if you notice when the platform or the network fails or it is not going good, it means that uh, the product or the results are not the, the ones expected. The results no son los esperados, so usually happen. Thank you. Uh, Maritza and then Oscar Daniel. Okay, Maritza, please. The network fault. Similar to Eduardo? Yeah. That platform needs internet? Yes. Okay, maybe maintenance is the key. Necesita mantenimiento. Thank you. Eduardo and Maritza, I have the, the same difficulty in common. Oscar and then Rosalie. Okay, Oscar, tell me. Okay, teacher. Um, the printer needs mm -hmm. And it, that usually happens when you need to uh, print reports or some important information. So the printer that doesn't have ink, como que la impresora no tiene tinta, so what's going on, right? Thank you, Oscar. Uh, Rosalie, and then Katia, please, Rosalie, tell us. The teacher in the printer and paper now. Okay, how many printers does your company have, or at least in your area? And number one. <laughs> okay, just one. I guess that's the problem. Because yes. sometimes mm, it... many many people use use the yeah. printer. <laughs> many people remember that one printer can be working if one two three people is using it but if a lot of people try to print the printer is going to break down and in your company you should have like two or three printers so if one doesn't work let's go with the other and then the other right to have some options uh, thank you Rosalie Andre could you read your uh, point of view please uh, teacher uh, in my company uh, there are problems when foul someone system okay the system okay similar to 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 Maritza and Eduardo related to the system that failed that is not working Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, Katia. Okay, Katia. Let's go. This is the sign the printer has a book. <laughs> okay. Offline printer. What do you mean offline printer? Because of the Bluetooth system or because of the internet or the any program or driver? I don't know. Um, internet? Maybe. Okay, internet. How many printers do you have in your area? Only one. 
Okay. Yeah, that's similar to Rosalie, right? Yeah, problem because you need some. Imagine one printer fails. It's okay. Let's go with the other. But if you don't have any other option, that could be a problem. Okay, David and then Gustavo. Okay, David. Okay, teacher. Uh, other problem in my work is there are not no no UPS to use the computer without electricity. Is it common when you have light out? Uh, when uh, you yes. have problems, it's common. Yes. Okay. Um, let's imagine one week. How many times do you have problems with electricity? In one semana, cuantas veces? I problem. Mm, one. One. One, the... one a yes. week. Una vez a la semana. Yes. Okay. It's very common because in the month, or at month, you have four times or more, or well, a veces más. So, if yeah. you're working with UPS, it means that the lights are out, se van las luces, but you continue working. Five minutes, yes, yeah. 15 minutes, yeah. or they, you have yeah. time to, to save or send uh, information. Te da tiempo para guardar o enviar información, right, David? It's correct. They are Building nearby. Mm, okay. Ah, that's why they're building nearby, ne close to you. So, wow. and, and believe me, you're going to continue having that problem. Yes. yes. Thank you. Uh, Gustavo, please, could you read there. yours? You okay? In my company, uh, the problem in computer, computer uh, sometimes they... They don't turn on. Okay. Are they kind of old or ancient? Son antiguas, son algo viejitas, or maybe uh, problems? Common problems. The, the, the computer, uh, computer are too, too old. Okay. Old. They are too old. Maybe you need a, an update. Necesitan una red. Una, una, una actualización, right? You, you need to buy some other computers. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you, Gustavo. Thank you for sharing that. And let's see what do we have here. What else? Well, I guess it's time for... How would you improve the education system in El Salvador? Uh, Maritza and then Gustavo. Maybe uh, you could mention one thing that you don't agree on, algo que no están de acuerdo. Something that you think, okay, teacher, I get that is not good. That happens in school. Okay. Uh, so Maritza and then Gustavo, please tell me your opinion. I think improve facilities and update teachers. Okay, improve facilities about, yeah. There are some schools that they they look like dark, so como bien oscuras, related to material and, and, and light. But also, as you mentioned, update teachers. I consider that that's so important to update teachers, actualizar a los docentes, because yeah. they, ha they have been teaching like for 20, 30 years, I don't know how many years, cuántos años han estado enseñando de la misma manera. And it doesn't work, y no funciona sometimes. They need to change the methodology. For example, uh, talk about traumas, about mathematics, about English. He escuchado traumas sobre el inglés y sobre matemáticas. I don't know. Uh, in your case, Maritza, but there are some students that they don't like uh, some subjects. No, le gustan algunas materias, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Have you like materia? Social studies. Mm -hmm. You didn't like social studies. No social studies. No, I, I okay. like matemáticas. 
Oh, good for you, mathematics. But social studies for some people, like, it is boring. Es como aburrido. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. I know because I received some classes that it was like, oh, come on, that's kind of boring. But that depends on the teacher. So that's why teachers need to be updated. Thank you, Matt. So interesting your point. Mm, Gustavo, and then we go with Eduardo. Okay, teacher. In, in my opinion, to improve the educational system, work could be done to make children aware of how important educational educational will be for their life in the future. Mm -hmm. Develop programs and providing opportunities for better educational educational. Yeah, that, that, that's correct. When uh, there are some programs that are really good, uh, imagine if you compare kids from El Salvador and from some other country, there are not too many differences. No hay muchas diferencias. But uh, if you have a good program for education, it means that these kids in El Salvador, they're going to learn a lot of things. Thank you. Uh, Gustavo, let's go with Eduardo and Rosalie. Eduardo, any opinion about this? Uh, in my opinion, I think the the education in the Salvador have to make a change with the teachers because there are uh, teachers that have many years to give the same the same things and uh, in today uh, we need uh, how like you say actually actualize uh -huh. Update, update, actualizar. Up, update, yes, right, right. Yeah, update, I write many things, but but the, the children have uh, uh, or give many uh, alcance, como se dice? Uh, maybe you can say goals, objectives, yeah. Mm, no, because I, 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 I think about the... Ah, okay, you can say... The, for example, um, reach, reach as alcanzar, alcanzar, uh -huh. reach. But 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 now uh, the the childrens and have uh, a, a reach with the uh, but internet uh, applications, mm -hmm. use of computers, all that things. I think many uh, teachers don't have the the update to teach with this form. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. So, de acuerdo. Just one example. When the pandemic times with the COVID appeared, uh, there are there were a lot of teachers that they could send, they, they even they could use WhatsApp to send yes. homeworks. Uh, related to Zoom classes, related to classroom, uh, related to some other uh, platforms, they are not capable to do it. No estaban como, no están capacitados para hacerlo. And kids, mm -hmm. they need to use the technology. Kids need like some other challenges. Necesitan retos tecnológicos. So yes. it, yeah, if, if teachers have to update, si los teachers están actualizados, yes, that could work. Eso puede funcionar. So, yeah, that's it, Eduardo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good point. Yes. Perfect. I like it. And what about Rosalie? Rosalie, are you, are you there? Yes, teacher. Please. And I would improve and build more school get food and provisions free to all children. Teachers would have to be up to date, up to date and pass attitude that to teach. Mm -hmm. There are uh, something that you, you mentioned, aptitude and attitude. Yeah, teachers, I guess they, we have to change, we as teachers, we have to change the idea that we have book Complete the book. We have homework, bring homework in paper. No, 
mom, there are some projects. There are some other activities, yes, that students can do. And that's part of my point of view. Uh, students, they have a grade. Los estudiantes tienen una nota. But that grade doesn't reflect the intelligence of a student. Esa nota no refleja la inteligencia de un estudiante. We have to look for some other ways, okay, to understand that they are learning. So, thank you to all of you, my friends. Uh, you have good points, and I'm sure that you live a lot of things that I live. Han vivido cosas que yo viví. Something that we don't agree, cosas que no estamos de acuerdo. Yeah, well, there are some other things that we have to change. Okay, vamos en este momento con what's the name of the song? Let me check this. Evelyn was. Katia, I guess you are the right. Creo que tú estás. Tú eres la elegida, ¿verdad, Katia? No, dice Maritza. No. Maritza. Okay, Maritza, you're the one. Sí, pero voy a intentar compartir. Ese me perro me gusta, ese, ese perro me gusta, Maritza. <laughs> Que I'm going to give it. Oh, tranquila, tranquila, relax. Okay. Let's try, intenta hacer, okay. Remember that this is something that it, it is like part of learning. También es parte del aprendizaje. Eh, imagine, you have, te doy tiempo ahorita mientras preparas tu, 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 tu imagen. Imagine, okay. you are in a meeting eh, using eh, the platform of Zoom. And your boss says, okay, Gustavo, okay, Daniel, okay, Rosalie, okay, Maritza, please present the results or present the your report. Presenta tu reporte, okay. We have to be like trying to uh, share screen, intentando compartir pantalla para que los demás capten, para que vean esta parte de tu presentación. So, yeah. Part of learning, parte de la aprendizaje que siempre se da. Okay. Uh, how are you doing, Marita? Are you ready? Eh, solo me podría explicar, por favor, cómo compartir pantalla. Okay. ¿Estás desde celular o computadora? Acabo de iniciar sesión en la computadora. Okay. Vaya. Esa es mi pantalla. Ok. Déjame ver. Ok, aquí tengo Zoom. No. Quiero explicarte bien. Quiero ver si te puedo explicar de esta manera. Déjame ver. Creo que no me sale. No, no me sale. En la parte de abajo en la barra aparece un botón verde que dice compartir pantalla con una flecha hacia arriba. ¿Puedes verlo? No. Oh, ya, yeah, sí. Uh -huh. Es de color verde. Ok. Le das compartir pantalla. Y como si sí, la, 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 la clave es tener abierta ya. Eh, la imagen o si es un documento, tenerlo abierto le das compartir y seleccionas la imagen, ok oh, yeah. perfect good one lo hiciste muy bien uh -huh. ok, vamos a estar pendiente si gusta puedes leer la letra sin cantar, a menos okay. que quieras cantar. No, no puedo. Ok, entonces puedes leer, no problem. Ok, I try not to think. It's present simple. And I subject pronouns. About the pain as I feel inside. Uh, is present simple. I is subject pronoun. Did you know you use to be my hero is past 
simple. You is subject pronoun. My is possessive pronoun. All the days you spend with me is simple past. You is subject pronoun. Me object pronouns. Now, since so far away is present simple and it feels like you and simple and now I try hard to make it is present simple. I just wanna make you proud, present simple. I never gonna be good, good enough for you, present simple. I can extend another five, present simple. And nothing all right is present simple también. Cause we lost it all, present simple, and nothing lasts forever, present simple. Lo demás, eh, puede estar ahí el nombre. Okay, yeah, that's it, thank you. So all days you spend with me now seems so far away. Me parece conocido esto. Yes, um, me suena, is a singer. Singer, cantante, or band, Maritza? Um, eh, eh, son? Yeah, yeah, I know, but it is a, a man, a woman, or a band. Hombre, mujer, band. or cantante. Oh, a band. It's band. It's a band. Yes. Okay. The name is... Uh... Perfect. Yes, yes, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Let me see. Si me puedo hacer canción. I'm sorry, I can't be perfect. Ah, that's the only yeah. thing that I know. Solo lo último me puedo. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. that's nice. Simple plan. I remember that. Uh, creo que en los 2000. Creo que era en ese tiempo. 2006. 2006. Yeah, I remember. Kind of. Yeah. Era joven. I was young. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, uh, very interesting how you mentioned a uh, simple present, a personal pronoun, and some others. Thank you. Good done. And I consider that romantic music, music is like very interesting to learn vocabulary. Like, like this one, como esta. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, and now Maritza, Katia. Katia, could you prepare your song for Monday? Puedes preparar tu canción para lunes. Okay, teacher. No me mientas, Katia, please. please, please. Contamos contigo. Ok, Katia. Ok. Perfect. Pero Ivonne va a cantar. <laughs> ¿Quién la va a cantar? Ivonne. Ivonne, yes. I, I consider that John. She is a singer. Ivonne knows a lot of music. Ellos conocen bastante. No, teacher, I can't. Ah, come on. Ah, I can't. Si sí puedes. I can't. Okay, no problem. Can't. Can't. Ah, okay, can't. He's a can. singer. He's a best singer. Ah, really? Ah, o sea que es modesta. She's modest. Modesta. Yes. Wow. Okay, come on. Well, we're going to complete this now, my friends. And this is an activity that we did yesterday. Hicimos esta actividad ayer. Okay. I recommend you to select one of these participants. Selección uno de estos participantes. Por ejemplo, yo soy Gustavo y voy a seleccionar a David. Entonces yo digo, David, number four. Entonces vengo acá. Como ya eh, Gustavo dijo, David, number four. I'm going to look for uh, the question. Veo la pregunta for four. Entonces David va a contestar esta pregunta. What things do you sometimes worry about? Or Eduardo says, eh, Rosalie one. No, Rosalie two. Entonces sería dos. Porque se fusiona la línea. De dos, this line and this line. So that this is going to be the question. What do you always do in the mornings? 
remember that these questions are, well, I'm sorry, the answers should be short. La respuesta es que sean cortas, okay? And so, mention one classmate and mention one number, okay? So, in this case, we're going to start with Maritza. ¿A quién vas a quemar, Maritza? Please. Mention one of these classmates, los que están como listeners o como oyentes, no cuenta. Rosalie. Oh, va. Rosalie, le debe dinero. Present. Okay. Okay, Maritza, what number? Number four. Number uh, four. En la parte de arriba, en number five, hacia abajo. Oh, va, podemos usar esto. Eh, esto que se le llame down. Down. Ajá, o sea que estos van a ir para abajo. ¿Ok? Y eso va a ser across. Ajá. ¿Ok? So, what number down and what number across? Down number four. Four. Across number five. Across number five. ¿Ok? Eh, Rosalie? What thing what sometimes... Thing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes make you feel angry. ¿Qué te enoja? Okay, very interesting question. Okay, Rosalie. Um, are many things? I know, <laughs> but select just one, please. Um, I know, there are a lot of things. No, sometimes, sometimes. Um, um, I don't know. But I don't know. Okay, related to your team, related to your it's, police, it's, traffic. Mm, no. It's in, um, I don't eat, um, ¿cómo se dice tiempo? Así como no comer a, a la hora. Okay, you don't eat on time. You don't eat on time. I, no comes I, a, a don't, tiempo. Eat, uh -huh. I don't eat on, on time. time. For example, for example, your the lunch should be at 12. Yes. 12 but you yes. don't need at 12, right? What time do you have your lunch? At 1, 1.30, 2. 12, 12 o'clock. Okay, 12. Ah, okay, but sometimes we can have like different times. A veces tenemos diferentes momentos, right? Okay, thank you. Uh, Rosalie, select another person. Okay, I'm going to give you some names. Uh, David, Eduardo, Daniel, um, Oscar, Daniel, uh, Gustavo, Amaritza, se la puede devolver. Creo que otra, espera. No, okay. no. Ah, no. vaya, no, no es vengativa. Ok, no, no Luisa. I'm sorry. Um, David. David. Okay. What? What? Okay. Here we have this part that is down and cross. When we say down, it's para down. abajo, across. Down two and across two. Okay. Two and two. Yes. Uh, David, what do you always do in the morning? That's easy. Come on. Mm. Uh, yeah, chugar. <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. You always take a shower. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. Please select some other participants. We can have Daniel, Eduardo, Oscar, Daniel, Gustavo, um, Maritza, Rosalie. I don't know. Luisa. Uh, uh, Luisa. Okay, Luisa, are you there? Or te me escondiste? Okay, uh, eh, okay. Una what, what, yeah, una fase is a one, a good one. Okay. <laughs> Down okay. across. Okay, David. Four and six. Four and six. Four. I'm sorry that I can't see this part. Okay. Four, Luisa, 
four and six. Four and six. Okay, good one. What do you almost always watch on TV, Luisa? Okay, you can mention okay. one. Mm -hmm. The movies of, of the, so the como, animal. Cartoons. Cartoons. Okay, you, you like cartoons. Yeah, I love cartoons. That's nice, of course. So you like movies and cartoons. Mm -hmm. Okay, Luisa, select uh, some other person and number down and across. Who? Okay. Um, get on. Uh, Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo. Mm -hmm. okay. Down and across. Okay, uh, number one across three. Mm -hmm. Gustavo, what kinds of food do you rarely eat? ¿Qué tipo de comida raramente comes? ¿O uh, rara vez? Mm, I don't know. No quiero, eh. Garrol, uh, costa, gallo en chicha, cusuco, I don't know. There are a lot of things. A pain, a pain. Eh, cerdo como... Pig, pork. You can say pig. pork. Pig is when the, the, the animal is alive. Cuando está vivo se dice pig. Cuando ya está bien muertito se dice pork. Ok. Uh -huh. You uh, don't pork. eat pork too much. No comes mucho cerdo, right? Uh, no. Ok. No. No, no. It is not common. Yeah, sometimes, but sometimes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gustav. Okay, now you can ask to David, Daniel, Eduardo, Oscar Daniel, Maritza. Mm -hmm. uh, Daniel. Okay, Daniel, what number? Uh, down and across. Down, uh, five. Mm -hmm. um, across. Across, six. Okay. What strange things do your friends often do? ¿Qué cosas raras hacen tus amigos? I don't know, Daniel. What some strange <laughs> things, okay, do your friends? What strange things do your friends often do? Ajá, uh -huh, often. A menudo, ¿qué hacen tus amigos? Mm. Quiero ver... <laughs> No salgo regularmente, no salgo, pero I think do my friends uh, watch watch the what deport deporte. Okay, hey, sport. Mm -hmm. They watch sport. sport. Uh, football in the sport. night in in una, una cancha rápida. Okay, uh -huh. in a soccer field. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, then you can ask to David, Eduardo, eh, Maritza, Oscar, Daniel. Uh, Maritza. Okay. Down and across six. Six and six. Okay. Maritza, what do you often text your friends about de qué chat de qué hablas en el chat con tus amigos what do you often text your friends about mm. I text about the work <laughs> really are you sure la queja Nah, las quejas de eh, desahogando. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, nice. Quejas. Complain. Thank you. Ok, Maritza, eh, here we have some others. For example, uh, here we have Eduardo. Eh, I guess just Eduardo and David. Vamos a seleccionar uno entre ellos dos. Ok. 
Eduardo. Eduardo, please, what number? A down and across. Down, number one, across, number five. What things sometimes make you feel nervous? Okay, very interesting question, Eduardo. Okay. What things sometimes make you feel nervous? Well, uh, I think is I feel nervous. Uh, I I look to 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 every to every place to many places. Uh, if I I have uh, I have I have a conversation with a person and I feel nervous. I don't look them uh, mm -hmm. directly. Directly. I, I, I look uh -huh. I look to to other places, and that that's that's maybe is I do when I feel nervous. Okay, yeah, that's why when you feel nervous, yeah, that that's it. Thank you. Good point. Okay, okay. my friends, we're about to finish. Just like what six minutes, six minutes, and terminamos. Talk about. Uh, are you afraid of getting old? Le, te da miedo envejecer. Okay. Please just say one of these things. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Please text that on the chat, and I'm going to ask you like a couple of things. Okay. Yes, I do. No, I don't. I'm going to be waiting. Okay, I'm going to check the answers. Vamos a revisar las respuestas. Okay, let's listen to some interesting questions. Rosalie says, no, I don't. Okay, Daniel, no, I don't. Maritza, yes, I do. Oscar, no, I don't. Andre, no, I don't. Eduardo, no, I don't. Uh, Susie, no, I don't. Rosalie, no problem with getting old? No, teacher. Um, because I, I have I have enjoyed every stage of my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you yes. consider you have enjoyed, have fun in every stage of your life, right? Have disfrutado. Yes. Have yes. enjoyed every stage in your life. Okay, I like it. That's... Bad and good times <laughs> is part of life. And the... Crecer, ¿cómo sería? Grow up. Grow, Grow up. up es crecer, yes. There's a song, hay una canción de un grupo de punk que se llama Ramones. Perdón, la, el grupo se llama Ramones. Grow up. La canción se llama I don't want to grow up. No quiero crecer. Mm -hmm. So, well, to grow up, it's part of life. Thank you. Hey, Daniel, 
No problem with getting old. No, no hay problema con crecer, con envejecer. No problem with that. Okay. No, oh, no, teacher, no problem. Okay, you're going to be a, a maestro, right? In 30 years, in 30 años. 40 years, quizás en 40 años. I don't know. But that's nice, Daniel. Maritza? Yes? Kind of fear, un poquito de miedo. Yes. Yeah, like Because little. I also need to independent. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, sometimes we may think that when we are old, we can have like a, a, our life resolved, nuestra vida resuelta. Sometimes we don't have that if we are getting old. Y a veces estamos envejeciendo. Right, Maritza? It happens. I know. I feel it sometimes. Uh, Oscar Daniel, no. Right, Oscar? No, no, no fear. No hay miedo, dice. David? No. No fear? It's okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Oscar. David, no fear? No hay miedo? No, no, teacher. No fear. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's see who else. Andre, no. Gustavo, no. Eduardo, no. Are you sure, Gustavo? No fear? Uh, okay, no. no, teacher. No. Because every day that passes is an opportunity to be better and better. Yeah, definitely. Definitely it is. It is. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Eduardo, no fear. No, teacher. I, I don't, have, don't have fear. Okay. Thank you. Eh, Daniel, eh, ¿ya te habías quedado con la sesión de después de clase? Sí, no, que... right. sí ¿verdad? Yeah. Sí, ya te había puesto. David, eh, tú no, ¿verdad? ¿Te, queda, ¿Te puedes quedar uno, un par de minutos, please? Ok, teacher. Ok, sí. My friends, el tiempo ya se nos pasó. The time passed by. Voy a pasar lista solo poniendo thumb up, pulgar arriba en el chat en el chat, no aquí como reacción, en el chat please come up pulgar arriba en see you on Monday, los veo el lunes descansen, thank you see Rosalie see you Monday see you Monday, have a good night my friends, descansen nos vemos el lunes bye bye good night Okay, David, um, this is going to, to be very, very brief or short because I know that you are working on the platform, right? No hay problema con la plataforma. David, eh, ¿algún problema? ¿Alguna dificultad con algún tema? Eh, con la plataforma, esta... con la plataforma, dicho, sí tuve problema hace unos días, como que no me dejaba ingresar, pero Ajá. después se me dejó. Después se me dejó, por eso no lo reporté, porque al día siguiente ya funcionaba. Y allí sí tengo una duda, teacher, como me perdí una clase, me, tengo duda con cuando estuvo hablando de, 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 de use, not allowed. Bien, eh, no. creo que fue ayer o antier, ¿verdad, David? Eh, sí, algo así. Eh, déjame ver, ahorita no. te... Te comento. Vaya. Uh, te voy a poner un cuadro que considero que es eh, bastante explícito. Ah, aquí está. Sí, ese no es allowed. Eh, no sé si ha, has terminado las tareas de, de, de esa área, de ese sí, tema. Sí, sí, lo, lo hice. No te queda muy pero... claro. El hecho de, no de, de, de hecho, me tocó investigar un poquito ahí en internet para ah, okay, poder, sí. para, para poder okay. pasarlo. ¿Tuviste, tuviste que trabajar ya algo tarde. Sí. Ok, no, no te preocupes. Ah, aquí te lo muestro.
ver, ¿quién es? Ah, ok. Eh, la clave es esta, mira. En el tema del not allowed, hay, se basa en dos cosas que no te puede, para que no te confundas. El, el able to, eso, eso confunde. El able to significa cuando eres capaz de hacer algo. Por ejemplo, here we have ability. And ability sometimes is related to the modal auxiliary can. For example, I can fly, I can drive a car, I can ride a motorcycle, I can draw, I can sing, I can dance. Todo lo que tú puedes hacer. Able to. Pero tenemos el allowed to que está enfocado. It's focused more on permission. It means that you are permitted to do something or not. Estás como, ¿tienes permiso de hacer algo o no? Entonces, básicamente, aquí tenemos la, la, las diferencias. Habilidad. Aquí dice, he can swim. He isn't able to swim. Y tú puedes, tú puedes decir, pero si, ti, si eres capaz de, de, de nadar, dices, I am able to swim. Si no eres capaz de nadar, I am not able to swim. En tu caso, David, ¿qué dirías? I am able or I am not able. In my case, I am able. I am not able. Not ah, okay. Able. I am not <laughs> able. Si no. no puedes. Okay, no problem. No. no problem. Entonces se trata de habilidad. Let's go with permission. Vamos con la con el permiso. Tenemos acá. He can ride a moat. Cuando hablamos de moat, eh, hablamos como motorcycle, como una motocicleta. He's allowed to ride a mope. Él, es, él está permitido, o sea, tiene permiso de manejar una motocicleta. Y la última sería I am. Si tienes permiso, no tienes permiso. La siguiente. Teacher, para que... teacher, en, esa, en esa parte, también como estamos hablando de manejar una motocicleta, también puede aplicar la habilidad. Mm, lo que sucede es que en este caso eh, se podría referir a si tienes licencia, si tienes permisos para eh, movilizarte en una motocicleta. Y aquí te tiene otro ejemplo para que, para que captes, porque en habilidad sería able. Ya. Si, dijera, si dijera able, estamos hablando que, que Tú sabe tienes una la habilidad. Eh, es, that's correct. You, you have ah, the knowledge. Okay. Tienes el conocimiento, okay. tienes la habilidad, pero no el permiso. El permiso mm. es allowed. Vamos okay. con, la, con el segundo punto. Eh, sería, we can vote in elections. Nosotros podemos votar en elecciones. We are able to vote in elections. Eh, perdón, eh, we are allowed. Es, estamos permitidos. Tenemos ese permiso de votar. Allowed. Todos tienen eso, ¿verdad? I am allowed. Vamos con la siguiente. Esta es bien explícita. They can't drink alcohol in pubs. Ellos no pueden eh, beber alcohol en, en la área pública. They are not allowed. ¿Ok? Ellos no están permitidos, no están, eh, no tienen el permiso para okay. beber en alcohol, en, digamos, en, en el área pública. Lo mismo que en esta. Lo último. He can smoke. Él no puede fumar. La última sería, he, sería he is allowed to. Mm, allowed. No, he is not. He is not, ok. Ah, he, he is not, not, porque estás diciendo he can smoke, él no puede fumar. Entonces, si dices he is allowed, él es, él sí se le da permiso, él está permitido. Ah, okay. En este caso, sí. como es negativo, mm, he is allowed. Donde tú puedes poner he is, uh, we are allowed or I am allowed es en el tema de votar. Votar todo, pueden votar. Tenemos permitido eso. Uh -huh. okay. hoy, sí, hoy sí, más o menos, David. Sí, sí ya, ya, ya vi la diferencia entre habilidad Ajá, y captaste. permiso. Yes. That's, that, that's the point. Ok, sí. remember that... Uh, yeah, you finished the, mid, the midterm. Terminaste el, el examen de medio curso, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Ok, that's nice. 
Entonces ya estamos bastante bien, eh, David. Solo nos quedan nueve clases, así que ánimo. Después de eso van a tener un par de días de vacaciones, ¿ok? Perfecto. Thank you, teacher. Excelente. Un gusto de, de estar con ustedes. And see you on Monday. Eh, descansen. See you on Monday. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye.